What's going on, everybody? So today, it has been just, it's been over a month since I got this new 100-watt machine from OM Tech, and we're going to talk about some of the things that I've done, things that I like, things that I might want to change. I don't know. We're going to go through all of it and just kind of give you a one-month recap. So let's get into it now. All right, so let, let's talk about some of the stuff that I've already done with this machine. Um, so obviously when, when I first get my machines, I always go through and I verify settings, I do tests and, and all this kind of fun jazz. Um, so, I mean, here's some of the examples and different things that I did from testing. Um, one of my first orders, I had this, this cup, this logo cup that I needed to do on a couple of keychains. Um, so you can see, like I did different tests to try and figure out, you know, my jump speeds, my start stop speeds, all this kind of stuff on the laser. Um, there is great videos out there that I'm not going to recreate because that is a lot of time that's already been done. Um, and those are from laser everything. So I'll put those just right up here in this card. So you can go back and look at those for your machines. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so business cards like these things are super great to test on. Um, I use them all the time. Uh, if I just want to see what a logo is going to look like, see if it you know comes out right, timings are still looking good, all that stuff. But yeah, so that's one of the first things that I started on, was going through all the settings, making sure that those are right. Um, after that, the first thing I jumped into was this coin. So this is a plated coin, and so it was pretty easy to take off that, that top plating, um, but it went pretty deep pretty fast. So that extra 100 watts, well, I guess not extra 100 watts, but having a 100-watt machine compared to my 30-watt machine um, you can definitely tell that it did a quick number on that coin. This coin took no time at all just to get uh, that top layer off. Granted, I could have gone and hit it with a, a black mark settings and, and done that a little bit better, but did that coin, and I still got the back to do. I haven't decided. Maybe it'll be something else. Um, <clears throat> but did that one. Um, also, one of my firsts is this 3D coin that I did with the grayscale features in Lightburn. Um, a little bit hard to see, but yeah, that's like skull with swords to the back with some skull and some other design up over the top. Um, so this coin was really cool. Um, definitely for me to see what that extra power could really get down to. It took a long time, but working and talking to some other makers out there, like I could definitely speed up my settings, um, speed up the actual speed of the engraving, and, and try and get this same result, maybe a little bit more flat, not as deep, um, but same results that are definitely a good quality, faster than what I did on this one. So definitely, again, I say this all the time, you gotta test, 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 find your settings, find what works for you. But that coin was really cool. Um, I wanna do more of these in the future. Granted, the hard thing is, is I'm kind of more of a, a production type environment, so when I am doing coins, I want it to be something that I can change over quick. Um, you'll, you'll see my other video. I'll put that video here where I did a whole batch of coins, uh, for this same company for this, it's fizz, um, here locally and they're golf ball markers, but I did those and those were a pretty quick turnover. This one was like two hours that it took to run that coin, you know, the machine just running while I was doing other stuff. So I, if I can get these dialed in so that they're more time efficient then it will be worth it to actually try and sell them as a product. But if it's taking that long, there's not many people that are going to want to buy a coin that's going to cost them $200 for, for something like that. You know, I, I want to be able to get, you know, my money out of my time. Um, so that's something to really want to, to make sure you keep in mind is what is your time worth? Are you paying yourself? Are you paying, you know, not yourself as a employee of your business, but as an owner of a business. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> I also have started to do, and I, I shared videos of this on my Instagram, but you can see all those colors. So just this box right here. All this is other tests from other things, but again, proves, test, 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 do, do your tests. Um, but yeah, so you can see that MOPA in action, like you're getting all those different colors. Um, and I still have a lot of testing to do to really refine what settings get what colors and on what materials. Really, you're gonna get this kind of results only on a stainless steel. Stainless steel is really going to do, and I believe uh, titanium, but I don't have much of that just lying around. Um, so yeah, stainless steel, you can get those colors. It does take a lot of testing to get you know the, the right settings for the right colors. And 
Another one that I did on Instagram and I've done a couple of orders. These is this top dad coin. Um, and this is, this one's a bottle opener. I've done others as coins as like ball golf ball markers, but yeah, so st- this is all stuff that I've done on the fiber in just a little while. Um, I've also done a couple of tags for electrical equipment. Um, basically one that's like an auto or off and just did the markings for all the works. And those were a pretty quick turnover. I think it took, they were aluminum tags. They were like seven, sec- seven seconds a tag and I made them basically like a dollar a tag. So every seven seconds I was making a dollar. Um, I probably could have made more, uh, but you know, it was something that was quick, just testing it out, trying to see how dark I could get on aluminum. Um, because aluminum is not one that, that reacts well to trying to take that, that dark color, um, quickly. So yeah, definitely lots of things that I've done and still plan on doing. Um, some of the videos that I have coming up, we're going to work and see what kind of results we can get on different tumblers. Um, one of the tumbler issues that I have is those light colors, you know, your white, yellows, something that's a a white um, or closer to that spectrum, it just absorbs all of the light from the laser. And so it's, it's a lot harder to get good settings and you seem to have to have different settings for different colors with the fibers um, compared to CO2. CO2, it's like tried true. I have the same settings for every tumbler. I just run it through, it's done. Um, So, but the fiber is just so much faster. So maybe CO2 Galvo in the future. We'll, we'll see what that all kind of looks like. Um, but that's a recap. That's, those are some of the projects that I've done on this new machine. And just wanted to give you kind of an update of what I think. You know, honestly, the 100-watt machine compared to a 30-watt machine, I am, I'm honestly improving my times. And obviously, it, with it being a MOPA, I'm getting more features. I am able to, you know, vary that pulse width get some different results on the stainless steel with colors. So all in all, I'm super happy. I'm glad I got the the 100 watt and it's been a great addition. So stay tuned for more videos. If this one was helpful, if you liked it, if you like seeing the updates, you know, make sure you subscribe, uh, like it so that way others can see it and we will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.